Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. TGIF. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Nice blue sky. I'm out at the end of the boardwalk right now in area four. Another extreme low tide here. An official low tide is still a couple hours away. We have had some really low tides with that moon, that full moon a few nights ago. The moon is still up in the sky here. I don't know if you can see it. Just that little white dot right in the center of the screen. It's setting later and later. Well, let's take a walk out to the beach and have a look at what's out here this morning. See if we get lucky and find a couple shells. Red tiny, red tiny, red tide warning signs are still off. So that's good news. We'll see how the water looks. Well, it looks like our great blue heron friend is down the beach there. It looks like that is that heron spot. Right up at the north end of area three is where it looks like that heron has claimed its stake there. All this seaweed washing up on the beach. Well, I can hear an osprey. It's in one of those pine trees down there. I can hear it all the way up here. Chirping away. Boy, that is a lot of seaweed right in this area here. It's funny how it just comes washing up in certain spots. I'm gonna try to get by and have a little visit with Roy this afternoon. Just give let everybody see how he's doing. Maybe you'll get him to play a couple tunes on his harmonica for us later. I'll probably do that probably just around lunchtime, around noonish. Give him a call first and see if he's up for it. You can see where this seaweed is. That was our high tide last night. Very low tide right now, and we're still two hours out from low tide. Ah, oh, darn. I oh, know he's still there, that great blue heron. I was just gonna walk down there and check out the heron and then Walk back up to the north end of the park. Gorgeous out here this morning. 
another really flat morning out here in the Gulf. Are we gonna see any dolphins? I don't know. Just never know when those dolphins are gonna come by. But it's definitely fun when we see them. Still seeing some dead crabs washing up on the beach. Darn it. There's a dead blue crab. It's still twitching. Sad to see that, but we're going to see crabs probably washing up the beach for a while here, washing up onto the beach. There's still a a lot of dead fish out in the gulf down on the bottom and the crabs unfortunately are eating them and because the fish died from the red tide the toxic toxins in the red algae and that gets passed on to the crabs and they die but the beach looks pretty darn nice though not having any trouble breathing It does. There is a funky odor, and that's because of this low tide we're having, this extra low tide. There's some sand getting exposed that usually never gets exposed, and it's the stuff that they dredged up out of Wiggins Pass and pumped up here, so it's kind of like a muck in it. I think it smells pretty bad at times. This is all like stuff they dredged right here, this piece sticking out. That's stuff they dredged out of Wiggins Pass. And they kind of dumped it all along the beach here. It definitely added some new beach. This beach is always, always changing shape and size here. Every big storm, you come out here and the beach looks different. Well, there's a lot of little shells. Just piled up here. All kinds of stuff. Sadly, little pieces of dead crabs all along here. That's sad to see. Here's that big blue heron again, the great blue heron. Out pretty much in the same spot as it has been every morning now. Just up at the north end of area three. It's kind of fun to check in on him, him or her. walk down this sandbar just a little further. And then turn around and come back. Well, here's, what do we got out here? Some manhingas or ducks? It looks like, what do we got out here swimming around? See if they'll get in focus. Looks like anhingas. See how they dive under the water? That, that one just got a fish. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. 
That one came up with a fish in its mouth. Wow. They actually swim under the water chasing the fish. It's pretty cool. There'll be one popping up here in a second, I'm sure. Here comes another one. So yeah, they just pop up from nowhere. It's kind of funny watching them. They disappear, you don't know where they're gonna pop up. But that one came up with a fish, that was really cool. Down he goes. And where are they gonna pop up? Nobody knows. Where'd he go? I saw one. Oh, just one under again. Where are they? Now they've all disappeared. They're all underwater. It's amazing how long they stay under. Oh, now they're way, way out here. Oh, there goes one flying by. It's pretty hard predicting where they're going to come up. <laughs> they're just up and down all the time. Oh, looks like you got another fish. <laughs> cool. They're really good fishermen. That's for sure. Having a hard time getting it down, it looks like. How cool is that? comes another one. Oh. Ah. Wow, those are fun to watch. Cool, and hingas. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're in hingas. It's hard to tell from back here. So neat to see the birds returning to the beach. Thankfully, keeping our fingers crossed, this red tide is moving away from us again. Hopefully it'll stay away. It didn't stay away very long. It only, it only had about a week of clear water here before it rolled back in, but hopefully it's on its way out now. And as soon as you start seeing the birds returning, that's a good sign because that means there's fish out here. Boy, more of those anhingas down the beach here. They're all, there's a lot of them out here today. That is really cool. Where's our dolphin buddies? Not golfing, dolphin. <laughs> Where's our dolphin buddies? Is that a live crab? Yeah, it looks like a live crab down there looking right at me. Backing off. Nice to see a live one out here. Nice to see a little life in the water. Hopefully it's not dying. right up at me, staring down the camera. I don't know what kind of crab that is. Who knows what kind of crab that is? Great look at it though. Just got a big piece of seaweed stuck on him. <laughs> and off he goes. Oop. There's another one. Swimming away from me over here. That looks like a blue crab. He's got his pinchers at me. He's got his claws facing me. Look at him go. 
<laughs> nice seeing live ones out here, not dead ones on the beach. Oh boy, there's another one scooting along right over there. Nice. Hopefully these guys aren't gonna die. Hopefully they find something better than those rotten fish that died from the red tide. Hmm, our great blue heron has decided to get out of the water and he's walking up towards the beach up here. I wonder why. He's walking up on the beach. Maybe he's full. It's right up, there's a little snowy eager right in front of him up here. I don't know if you can see him up there ahead of me yet. He's right up in here. might start walking back out to the water when I get closer. I don't want to scare him away, that's for sure. I want to come out here and see what the water looks like. See if we can get a look at it. It's looking pretty darn good out here. Look at that. Ooh, more crabs. There's a crab just buried itself. You can jump. Oh, it just went under right there. It just buried itself. You gotta be careful when you're walking out here. You don't want to step on these guys. He's right down here, buried in the sand. Huh. It's another little one over here. Yep. Yep, there's a little one down here. All right, lots of crabs out here. Lots of crabs. I sure don't want to step on one of them. They give me a good surprise. The water looks great. Looks really great. I walk along here I'm kind of scanning the bottom the the beach here hoping to find something interesting some shells or something Ugh. sadly there's a darn it another dead a dead blue crab on the beach darn it hate seeing that there's that heron walking out Back to the water. There's a little snowy egret up here on the on the beach. We got a really good look at a little snowy yesterday. You can zoom in on this guy here. It's a little snowy egret. That's what's in that picture that I posted this morning. Three of those. Then, back here as I pan around. Tch, I don't want to step in that. Ha! That great blue heron made a little mess on the beach there. Ha! Great blue heron poop. That heron's slowly walking up the shoreline here. Walking north. You can see them over there. You can see the Anhingas. If you look close in the background, there's a couple of them. See if I can zoom in a little more. If you look close, you can see those Anhingas out in the water swimming around. 
the great blue heron in the foreground. Wouldn't it be neat if a dolphin just kind of swam slowly through there? The great blue heron. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get a little closer there. Hey, if you're just joining us for the first time, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Make sure you like and follow, both like and follow Southwest Florida Television here on Facebook. Hit the share button too. Share the live feed here. Share this live feed with your friends. The more people we can get on here, the better. The more, the merrier. Don't be afraid to comment, get involved in some of the conversations that go on. This is more than just a beach walk. This is a place to come and make new friends. There's a lot of wonderful friendships that have been made here. What's really fun is I'll be out here walking and I'll hear somebody say, Rob, Rob, is that you? And I've met people from all around the world that have seen me doing these beach walks. I've met them out here on the beach, face to face. As every time, I, every time that happens, it's a thrill. It's just amazing how this has connected me with the world and some really good people at that. A lot of a lot of kind and caring people. And that has really come through with Roy being sick. Our good friend Roy, the amount of cards that he has gotten from our Facebook friends. People that Roy really doesn't even know. He just They just watch him and me on Facebook and they've sent all these beautiful cards, get well wishes, it's just amazing. That is a great blue hair in there, folks. Just patiently waiting for an unsuspecting fish to fly by. And up above him, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see him here. Darn it, an osprey. Couldn't get him in the shot. An osprey just flew over us. You can see the anhingas still in the background, popping up and down there underwater now they're out of the water there's two of them back there i don't know if you can see them yeah. i don't know if i can get any if i can zoom this thing in anymore yeah. see if i can get the anhingas in the back behind this guy see him back there the heron in the front pretty cool this makes me really happy to see these birds here at the beach as that red tide is moving away I don't know how long it's gonna be gone for you never know but it's getting a little better here that's for sure what a beautiful bird I don't know if I can get any closer What a, there you go, great, great shot of a great blue heron. It's kind of keeping its distance from me. This guy has become a regular on the show here. He's out here every morning. Love to see it catch a fish. Everybody is very, very patient. That's about three foot tall there at least. It stretches its neck up. It's more than three feet. Beautiful though.
Kind of watching in the background there. I don't see any dolphins swimming by yet. I could just watch this guy all morning. <laughs> it is so patient. It's almost like a statue standing there. Well, let's find something else here. We say good morning to our Anhinga and our blue heron friends. Anything down here interesting in the water? I see a few fighting conchs buried here in the sand. Florida fighting conch shells. There's one. There's a Florida fighting conch shell. Beautiful shells. You find a lot of these buried here, just offshore. I'm hoping soon we'll start finding live ones. Of course, we're not going to take those home as a souvenir, but it'd be just nice to see the live conchs returning. I haven't seen any since this red tide. We've been dealing with this red tide. Beautiful, beautiful blue heron. Great blue heron. What a beautiful sight as it just kind of walks down the beach slowly. I'd love to see it get a fish. Looks like he's gonna come up on the beach. He or she. Very cool. Just a magnificent sight. This has become one of our regular cast members right here. We should come up with a name for it. I don't know if it's a male or female, but we should come up with a name for this blue heron. So cool. So very neat. It's looking south down the beach. On a gorgeous Friday morning. The sun is up over the bushes now. Just getting ready to pop up over the pines. Still no signs of any dolphins out there. It's beautiful out here though. The red tide is, the warning signs are down for the red tide here at Del Nor Wiggins. Thank goodness for that.
That's a little snowy egret in front of me. Down here at my feet is a little baby Florida fighting conch shell. Just a little baby Florida fighting conch. We saw the full size one there a little earlier. There's the baby. What do we got rolling around over here? Oh, just a very, very, very old worn. It's like possibly a crown conch, maybe. Piece of an old conch. Where are you going there, Mr. Egret? Let's see if I can get you a close-up look at this little snowy egret walking along the beach. He's out looking for something to eat. Pretty bright out here. It's a little snowy egret. The water looks great. Nope, didn't get anything there. You can see its plumes on its head there. It's got this beautiful white plume that it gets all its feathers ruffled up. Gorgeous. You gonna catch something for us? Nope. I'm happy that there's little fish out there, though. The little fish are returning. Ugh. Beautiful. I love coming out here and watching the birds. never know what we're going to find out here. It's birds, shells, dolphins, ospreys. The ospreys are cool. There's always something fun to watch out here. Yep, got one. Got a little fish. Good for it. And that blue heron is up here stalking. It's got its eye on something in the water up here. It's looking in the little tidal pool there. See, it's checking something out there. Kind of hard to see. Hopefully it'll get some breakfast. That is so cool, a great blue heron. Well, hey, newcomers, introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you're watching from. We're up here at Del Norwigans Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Collier County, almost on the county line. Real easy to get to this place. Just if you're on I-75, you get off at exit 111, which is Immokalee Road. 
and you head west. Head west all the way to the end of the road and Amogli Road dead ends at the park. Couldn't be any easier to get to this beach, get to this park. Of course, there's an entrance fee as there is at all Florida state parks, but it's not very expensive. I think it's $4 for one person in the car, $6 for, I think, two people. Great place to come and spend a Saturday afternoon. They got picnic tables and barbecue grills all along, just all along the beach, up in these trees, just behind the beach here, there's a nature trail. It's just loaded with picnic tables and barbecue grills. All we ask is, is you keep it clean, respect the park, respect the rangers, respect the wildlife. Don't feed any of the wildlife, please, when you're here. Especially those darn raccoons. Huh. Pesky raccoons and get into everything. Whew. Here's a shrimp washed up on the beach. Oh, booger stuck me. Ah, come on. They got little. I'm gonna throw them back in the water. Put him back in the water, see if he comes back here. Yeah, maybe not. Oh well. It's kind of weird seeing shrimp on the beach. We don't see him, don't see that very often. But where I'm standing is normally underwater. This, we're having a really, really low tide here. So this is all normally underwater. Not seeing those dolphins. And it is so flat out here. This is when it's fun to see them. You can really see them when they swim by when it's calm like this not seeing them out here today. They've probably already been by a couple times this morning. I got a late start this morning. I had a little work to do here. I kind of I drive people around and the mornings take them to work. I had to take somebody to work this morning. Well, let's walk up the beach. Maybe the dolphins will come by up here. You just never know. You just got to be patient. I'm not going to hold my breath, <laughs> but I'll be patient. Water's really starting to clear up nicely here. Just got some seaweed now we're dealing with. I'll take that though, over that red tide. I'll take seaweed over red tide any day.
can see there's a big pile of it up here in front of me. Oh, sad, 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 sad. There's a dead toadfish on the beach. I wonder what, if he just got caught up in this seaweed. I don't know if they're poisonous. It's still breathing. I definitely don't want to pick that up. How sad. How sad. It could have been another victim of the red tide too. The red tide's still out there. It's just further out offshore. Dad's seen dead things on the beach, dying things. Thankfully, it's nothing like it was a month ago. Oh. Look at how high the beach is there. It's pretty neat. I wonder if any interesting shells washed ashore here last night. Boy, this sand is really, really soft right here sinking way down in it. Some seagulls returning. That's nice. A month ago, this beach out here was just covered with birds. Then they all left when the red tide came in. And we got some seagulls returning. You might be able to hear them in the background. It's like coming out here, walking along the water line, to see if anything catches my eye. Still not seeing any dolphins swimming. Not seeing any dolphins. Nice to see these gulls here, though. They're a welcome sight. A very welcome sight. Again, where I'm at right here, this is normally all underwater, even at low tide. But we're just having some really super low tides right now. So we're able to walk out here.
Here's a little crab walking along the shore. Not sure what kind of crab it is. But he was just crawling along there was just crawling along. He is alive. Oh well. He was just crawling up out of the water when I walked by. See the seagulls here. Happy to see some birds out here. Sandpipers out here too. trees there where Roy hangs out where Roy would normally be hanging out if he wasn't ordered to stay home he is not enjoying that doctor's orders for poor Roy no beach no driving he's not pleased with that at all he would love to be out here Taking in the sights and sounds. Whoop, there's another feisty little crab down here. Jumping up at me. Wow, he's actually jumping at me. Look at him. Look at him. Little baby blue crab. Jumping up at the camera. Feisty little rascal. Ah, he's trying to get the camera. You never got, you're not gonna get any closer to a blue crab than that. Ha! Feisty little devil. Ha! That's pretty cool. A little baby blue crab. Take it on the camera. <laughs> oh wow, a bunch of fish were just jumping right up in here, in this little lagoon area. A little snowy egret up there chasing them. That little crab was something else, wasn't it? Holy Moses, look at this. This is pretty cool. Look at that piece of worm rock. Look at that. That is really neat. That is a cool looking piece of worm rock right there. Very, very cool. That is really neat. Fight in the fighting conch buried in the sand just next to it. A 
There's a little olive shell up here. Just a little one. It's got some nice colors, a nice little olive shell. So, as many of you know, you can recognize where I'm at here. I'm up at Area 4 at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Just slowly walking north. Just amazed at this tide, how low it is here. Absolutely amazing. We have not seen any dolphins yet this morning. It's possible one might have snuck by me here. You just never know when those dolphins are gonna come out here. So far, my pockets are empty. Very unusual for me to go home with empty pockets with not one shell in my pocket. We've still got a little bit of beach to cover here. Seeing lots of fighting conks buried in the sand here. I haven't seen our friends Scott and Linda out here in a while. I know Linda's working at coffee shop up there in Benita, I think what is it called Oh Heaven or something. We could drop in on her. Scott's been busy working at Ace Hardware up there in Benita. Anything out here? Boy, I haven't been able to walk out here. This hasn't been dry for quite a while out here. Huh. Let's take a look at this water out here. Again, no red tide warning signs up this morning. Water's looking pretty darn clear out here. We've been seeing a lot of little crabs running around. There's one right there. Right down there is a little crab scooting away from me. I don't know if you can see him there. Just kind of crawling along the bottom. Oh, big school of fish. I think there's snook. A big school of snook right out here in front of me. You can see the water swirling around out here. A big school of them. 
I don't know if they're jack or snook. I, a huge school of them here. See if we can see them. They're gonna swim right up to, ah, oh, they swam away from me. They spotted me. Sometimes they'll swim right up to me, but there's a huge school of them. Right out here. I'm trying to get in the middle of them. If I stand still, maybe they'll come up here. Look for dark. See them splashing around out there? If I stand still, they might swim up and go around me. Looks like Jack. Come on, they're just right out in here. There's a couple. Ah, they, they're seeing my shit. Oh, they're huge, huge Jack. Did you see that one? That was huge. It was huge. Incredible. Just a huge school of jack. They're all, all out here in front of me. If I stand still every once in a while, they might come up to me here. It's hard to see, I know. Yeah, they're moving to the south, making their way down the beach. Darn, that was so cool. I don't know if you saw one of them. One was huge. Almost came right up to me. It was gigantic. That is great, seeing these schools of jack out here. The dolphins go after them. That is great. That is really good news, knowing they're out here. Lots of food for our dolphins. Wow, they're really, they're going to town out there. That was neat. Happy to see that. Happy to see once again the life is returning to our beach. It doesn't take long. It does not take long for the fish and the birds to start returning once that red tide starts backing off. Hey, just a quick little reminder here nobody pays me to do these beach walks if anybody wants to help out and make a little contribution it's always appreciated it helps pay for the phone bill and the time i spend out here and it's not just the time i spend here i spend a lot of time once i get home uploading things on facebook and i do try to research things so i share whatever information i can with you any knowledge i have look at this I wanted a shell. There's a beautiful moon shell. I didn't want to go home with empty pockets. A beautiful shark eye, also called a moon shell. There it is. I got my wish. Not going home with empty pockets. Let's see if I can get this out in the sun and give you a little better look at it. There's a little patch of sunlight up here. That was buried in the sand. All I saw was the eye sticking up. You just, you just gotta know what you're looking for. And that's a good size one as well. There's an old lightning whelk shell in the water. Or is it an old one? Look at that. Nope, that's a beautiful whelk right there. A beautiful lightning whelk. Nice find. A nice lightning whelk. And, if I can get them both in my hands here, a nice moon shell. Relatively close together, both. Right just on the edge of the water here. The moon shell was buried. That's the moon shell and the lightning whelk behind it. 
two great shells. Huh. Thank you, shell gods. They always come through. When I say I don't want to go home with empty pockets, the shell gods always come through for me. I keep asking for that box of $100 bills here on the beach, but for some reason they haven't come through with that one yet. Where's our dolphins? I miss our dolphins. We've had a lot of beach erosion here. Normally you can't even walk along the shore up here. The water comes all the way up to the trees, but just because it is really, really super low tide, we can get through there this morning. I'm just backtracking. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything back there. Nope. All good. Beach used to come way out to here, way, way out here. Not anymore. Last September, Hurricane Irma put the kibosh on the beach up here. The coup de gras. The beach was slowly eroding up here from some storms we had last summer, but Irma did the final number on it up here. Took out our beach. Boy, lots of fish. There's a big school of fish. I can see the water swirling around right out here. Probably another school of jack. All, all right out in here. See that water swirling around out there? Wow. All kinds of little fish down here swimming around too. Little tiny ones, less than an inch big. Little fries, little hatchlings. That's what the birds are walking along the shore getting. I haven't been up this way for a while. I haven't been to the pass for a couple weeks. Let's see if we can make it up there real quick. Take a peek at what's going on. One of these tree stumps, I think it's this one. You can't see it. It's buried, buried down here in the roots of this and under the sand. The roots have wrapped around a huge, a huge horse conch shell. I mean, it's probably at least 14 inches, this horse conch, but we can't see it. It's buried under the sand. But after the hurricane, it was exposed and it was kind of cool. It was a huge horse conch shell, old as could be. And the tree roots have just wrapped themselves around it. You can see how much erosion we've had. Look how high that beach is over there, or how high it was. This is the most beach we've had here in a long time, right now where I'm walking. Now this beach used to be a lot higher. You go out a lot, lot further. This was one of the nicest spots up here, actually. Area five. I just can't believe there's no dolphins swimming by. As flat as this is, I've not seen any of our dolphin buddies. Gosh, last Sunday. Check out the video from last Sunday. Last Sunday's beach walk. Just incredible the amount of dolphins. Incredible. 
And then last Saturday, thousands and thousands and thousands of eels swimming just right along the edge of the water here. Eels, unbelievable. Saturday was eels, Sunday was dolphins. Two totally different things. There's a nice sized blue crab right out there. I don't know if you can see them down there in the water. I don't know what he's doing. He's flipping his little flippers. A little blue crab. The closer we get to Wiggins Pass up here, the water usually gets kind of brownish, and a brownish color, and that's because the tide's going out of the pass. That's all the, tan the tannins in the river from the mangroves. There's one of those Anhinga birds out here. I can't see the darn screen very well. I don't know what it's doing out here. I'm having a hard time seeing it in the screen. kind of bobbing up and down. Or is it? What is that out there? Is that? That's something just sticking up out of the water. That could be that big piece of concrete. There's something out there sticking up in the water. There was an old piece of iron out here one time. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an old, old, old tree stump. Huh, I don't know what that is. I'm not moving though, it's definitely anchored to the bottom. Weird. There's a nice little cockle shell on the beach, a cockle shell. It's a nice little cockle there. It's got some barnacles growing on it. That's a nice little cockle. Wow. Really low tide here this morning. There's earlier I was telling you about the picnic tables and barbecue grills. Here's one of the little spots. You can see how close they are to the water here. Barbecue grills and picnic tables. Great place to come and spend a Saturday or Sunday. Is up in area five this group of tables well this is we're coming up to wiggins pass part of the namesake of the park delnor wiggins pass state park Hey, a little advice for you folks 
watching these live feeds, or when you're watching a live feed, if you're curious as to where the live feed's being generated from, hit that little red live button. If the person put the location, that's it'll tell you the location they're at. There's a chopper flying right up over the beach here. One of our spray helicopters. He's gonna come right up over these trees. Not very high. I don't know if you saw it or not. I can't see the screen right now. Just found a little worm shell down here. I was looking for it. Nice little worm shell. Those are fairly common out here, the worm shells. Other, another common shell is the scallop. Find those in different colors and sizes. There's two different scallop shells right here. See if I can get a little sunlight on them. You can see the different colors they come in. Two beautiful little scallops. Well, that's a little worm shells here. You know, and we just, you look at all these shells along the beach here, it's just hard to wrap your, at least it's hard for me to wrap my mind about the thought that at one point, all these shells had something alive in them. They had a living animal inside of them. Just amazing. Absolutely incredible. like another little moon shell maybe down here yep there's a little shark eye another little shark eye shell a moon shell how cool so I got two of those this morning I love it Another lightning whelk. That one's kind of beat up. This one's kind of beat up, this lightning whelk. Nice colors on it, though. Oh, there's a nice little scallop shell. Boy, look at that. That's a, yeah, it's got chip in it. Beautiful, though. Beautiful colors. Lots of scallops up here. Lots of them. There's another one down there. Look at those colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, there's a lot of shells here up towards the past, up at the north end of the park. These beach walks just quite aren't the same without our friend Roy. I'd always have a nice little chat with Roy 
towards the end of our, my beach walks. I sure do miss him out here. We had some fun out here. He's going to be back out here. He's never going to be going back in the water again. For those of you that don't know Roy, he's 93 years old. He's been coming out here for longer than he can remember. He comes out for sunrise. He actually walks all the way down to the end of the beach here to the point. Gets on his hands and knees, says his morning prayers at sunrise. Then he spends the majority of the morning here at the beach. He's always got some good little stories to share with me. He gives us, shares his experience in life. We call it his words of wisdom. Occasionally he'd break out his harmonica for us. But what happened to Roy is being 93 years old, you can't tell a 93 year old man anything. They know it all. He was insisted on going swimming with an open cut on his leg. And lo and behold, he got the flesh eating bacteria. It was horrible. Now that wasn't caused by red tide. That was, that's a different thing. Flesh eating bacteria. It's actually created by oysters. But anyway, he contracted this flesh eating bacteria and it ate a big hole in his leg almost overnight, a huge hole in his leg. And we were really worried. The doctors are talking about possible amputation skin grafts and all kinds of stuff but miraculously he is recovering and as he calls it he still has his peg <laughs> so it's a miracle that he was able to fight that off being 93 years old but he's going to be back out here we'll be sharing stories again one of these days it's probably going to be a couple months but for those of you who know roy he's determined and he's open to visitors at home. The address that I've posted on his pictures there, that's his home address. You can visit him at home. He's always up for visitors. I know he's getting a special visitor tomorrow. One of our Facebook friends that he's never met before is gonna drop by his house tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, one of our friends, Emily, she arranged for a landscape and lawn maintenance company to come. They're volunteering their time. They're gonna clean up Roy's yard for him. It was an absolute mess. This company here in Naples has donated their time and they've gotten put together a big group of volunteers. They're gonna come out tomorrow and clean up Roy's yard. So I'm gonna go over there and just let you see this wonderful group of people that are helping out and it's all, all this stuff comes together. All these good things that happen to people, all the, the greeting cards, the get well cards that Roy's getting, the phone calls, the visits, the little presents, the food he's getting. It's amazing how Facebook has brought all these wonderful people together. How this live feed has brought all these wonderful people together. Just incredible. We can see here, as I was, I was saying earlier, as we we're getting closer to the pass, the tide is definitely going out. You can see the water is just dark brown, like iced tea here. That's the tannins from the mangroves and up in the rivers up here. As soon as this tide turns and starts coming in, it's absolutely gorgeous, the water up here. Absolutely beautiful. But when the tide's going out, it's not so pretty. This is Wiggins Pass, the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. I haven't been up here for a while. But I gotta start heading back here. I don't know if there's any little shells piled up along here. A lot of times this is a great place to find some shells right out at this point. They seem to like to collect out here. Is there 
anything down here. Hmm, not seeing anything. Usually you find something out here. Somebody might beat me to it. It's late. I'm not seeing anything. Oh well. That's Bonita Beach over there, or Barefoot Beach, I'm sorry. Barefoot Beach Preserve, a county park over there. Gorgeous beach. We're 6,000 feet of beach over there. Goes all the way up to those buildings up there. Great, great beach. Now let's start walking back. See what we missed. Keep hoping that maybe, maybe a dolphin will pop up. Just never know when those dolphins are gonna swim by us. You definitely wanna search through some of my videos here on Southwest Florida Television. There's some really cool stuff. Some great, incredible, incredible dolphin sightings. A couple really, really good ones with me and Roy. Where the dolphins came right up and put on a show for us, right up on the beach. Absolutely amazing. Almost beached themselves. So search for those dolphin encounters, dolphin sightings, when you're in my videos here. When you find something you like, be sure you share it. Hit the like and share button. Also hit the like and follow button here on Southwest Florida Television. The very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. We're up at Wiggins Pass. This is also area five. There's four areas at the park, one, two, three, four, and five, and one is the closest to the front entrance. Five is up here at the north end by Wiggins Pass. Normally there's a lot of fishermen out here, but they're still leery about the red tide. This is where you wanna come if you wanna go fishing. This is the only place you're allowed to fish in the park, up at the north end, and no swimming up here. There's some really dangerous currents up here. Plus, they don't want you getting tangled up in the fishing lines. You can see that water still got that brownish color from the water. The tide going out of Wiggins Pass. That's not red tide. Don't get it confused with red tide. That's not what that is. Well, we did get to see our great blue heron this morning. That was fun. Such a beautiful, magnificent bird, that great blue heron. Saw a couple little snowy egrets. Saw quite a few little crabs. Found a couple nice shells this morning. All in all, it was a great beach walk. I mean, anytime I can come out here and just walk the beach, breathe in fresh air. No red tide to breathe in here this morning. Breathe in some nice fresh air. It's always a beautiful morning. Whether I find any shells or see any dolphins, it's still beautiful. It always amazes me. I get comments that, from people that this is the only way they get to enjoy a beach. This is the only way they actually 
got to experience being at a beach is through these beach walks. I think that's so neat that I'm able to provide that service. That's an osprey that you're hearing. That is an osprey calling out. The sun is hitting me in the eyes here. He's up in this pine tree somewhere. Unless he flew away just now. I just heard him up here somewhere. They're pretty hard to spot sometimes if they get in that, those thick needles. He might have took off. Boy, yesterday we got a good look at an osprey eating a fish. Check out yesterday morning's beef walk. Great shot of an osprey sitting up in the tree, perched up in the tree with his breakfast. back up towards Wiggins Pass. Well, that sky is just gorgeous here this morning. Absolutely beautiful blue sky. I always encourage everybody that's new to introduce yourself to the group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. It's amazing how broad our audience is here. From Australia to Germany. I don't know if we ever had anybody from Alaska. We've got people from all around the world watching. Had some people watching from South Africa. The internet sure has made the world a lot smaller. That's for sure. You know, I always tell people that I'm not out here to promote tourism. Although when the weather is beautiful and the water is beautiful, it sure might seem like that because it really excites me. But I come out here pretty much under all the different conditions we have. I just wanna educate people on how things work down here to the best of my ability, keep people informed as to what's going on on our little beach here in North Naples. One of these mornings here, maybe even possibly Sunday, I'm gonna have one of the volunteers from the Conservancy join me out here and just let him share what he knows about our water conditions out here. I'm really looking forward to having him join me. And then he doesn't know it yet, but while he's out here, I'm gonna ask him if maybe he could arrange for us to get a behind the scenes look at the Conservancy. See the animal hospital, 
they do a wonderful job rescuing animals there. So who knows? <laughs> Hopefully the Conservancy will be up for a live feed or at least a video tour of their place that I can share with everybody. I'd love to help get the word out about the Conservancy. The tide looks like it's starting to come back in here. That tree stump was totally out of the water earlier. Now the water is starting to come up around it. Still though, still no dolphins out here. Oh well. They're out there, just not, they're just not performing for us right now. Gorgeous. As most of you know, nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love doing it. I love sharing whatever information I have with you. But if anybody wants to make a donation, it always helps. A little contribution goes a long way, especially when it comes to paying the old phone bills. So if you can help out, if you want to help out, at the end of this post, this video will be available for your viewing pleasure on Facebook and you'll find in the description, you'll find my PayPal account information. Of course, I don't expect it. I mean, it's always a nice little surprise. Those of you that have given something, thank you very much. Look at that, that's looking up what used to be a beautiful beach in Area 5, not much left of it. I'm gonna snap a quick photo off there with me. Oh, I got lost there, sorry. I couldn't get the live feed to come back on. I lost a bunch of people. Sorry about that. Looks like this guy up here caught one of those jack that we saw swimming around. Saw a huge school of them out there earlier this morning. They were everywhere. Man, that's a big one. Wow. huge school of them out there yeah I just stood out there and they just swam all around me wow yep there's a big school of them right out here they're just catch and release though Before I catch another one. Wow. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me this morning. We had a good time out here. Nice peaceful beach walk. We did get to see some interesting sights. I picked up a few nice shells here this morning. A couple nice moon shells and a whelk shell. Let's see what I have. got a couple nice got a couple nice scallop shells. There's the whelk shell. What else did I get? Show you that moon shell. Darn it, I can't get them back in my pocket. 
Picked up a couple nice scallops. Come back here. Nice little scallops, nice little moon shell. The moon shell on the right there. Also called a shark eye, the scallop on the left. Got a couple of those, a couple nice ones. Uh, very cool. It's always nice to go home with a couple shells in my pocket. Always makes my wife happy. <laughs> Not. She's like, what are you going to do with all these shells? Well, every couple years I wind up just giving them to the neighbors. <laughs> so a lot of fighting conch shells out here. A lot of fighting conchs out on the sandbar. Ooh, look at this. It's all covered in seaweed. That's a big sand dollar. That is a big sand dollar, an old sand dollar. A dead sand dollar. That is a big one. That could be taken home and cleaned up, leached out. That's a nice size of little sand dollar there. Make a nice souvenir. I'm going to set it up on the beach. Somebody might pick that up and want to clean it up. Wow. Just never know what you're going to find out here, what you're going to run across. Always, always something new out here. Always something new to discover. Well, I think it's getting time to call it a morning here. It's getting late. I got a late start this morning. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Be sure to hit the like and share button. Also, if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can always find my PayPal account information in the description of this post a little later. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Friday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.